After each vacation that we go on, I have made it a tradition to put together one of those photo albums. And I'm capturing throughout the vacation, where did we go, what did we see, what was the biggest size donut we ate, what were the very special moments that I always want us to remember. And the struggle is, is that as mom, we are often on vacation thinking about what are you eating, what time do you need to sleep, what are the details. And we don't get a chance to truly just have quiet and relax and rejuvenate ourselves the way that we wanted to when we planned this vacation. So that's how I got started on this concept of do-it-yourself wellness travel. And in today's episode, that's exactly what I want to get into more detail on. What is wellness travel? How can we do it yourself, DIY? And then, how is that gonna actually change your life? Wow, here we go. Welcome back, moms. If today is your first time here at Tranquility Moms, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Catherine, and I'm a mom of two. I'm a health coach and a therapist that specializes in working with moms. Tranquility Moms and our whole team is about helping you to look at how can you plug in wellness into your life? Because it's truly our belief that that's what it's gonna take to build back your strength, put you in a place of calm and confidence, and there's the happiness that you are looking for for yourself and for your family. If you have been feeling burned out, tired, um, impatient, bored, um, restless, what else have I been feeling? I mean, just, just spent and just feeling like my tank is not full. And so when the kids need something, when my husband's asking for something, when I'm balancing my job at work, I, I'm trying to look at, okay, what is gonna be the way to recharge that battery? And if you've seen the video on the best ways to add wellness to your vacation, I use that battery system, a low battery, all the way to a fully charged battery, right? What's the best way to do that? So right now we're looking in this series of videos on ways to add that into vacation. And truly vacation could be a day trip, right? It's a getaway, it's an escape. Um, you've traveled to somewhere to go check it out for the day. Or you rented a VRBO and you're gonna rent someone else's home and stay in a cottage for the weekend. Or maybe you've got a resort and you're staying someplace beautiful and new wanting to explore or sightsee. There's so many different ways of planning a vacation and travel. And as you do that, we wanna look at, well, instead of the vacation just being more of the same, can we use that vacation to be a jumpstart, a kickstart for really what you've been wanting, feeling like you are calm and happy and rejuvenated? I started to look into, well, what is wellness travel? And the Wellness Tourism Association has really defined it as travel where the traveler is able to either enhance or maintain or even kickstart a healthy lifestyle and then really improve or enhance sense of one's well-being, right? And I thought, yes, that's what I want on vacation. So as a health coach, I started to put together, well, what are some of the health tools that I learned from my Dr. Sears Wellness Institute and my health coaching? And I've got the link down below if you're interested in that area for yourself. Fascinating. Dr. Sears put together four wellness areas and I've added on a fifth. So let's go through those five areas and how we can incorporate those into vacation and then into our life. The first is L, right? It goes L-E-A-N-S. L for lifestyle, right? These are the choices that you're making on a daily basis. These are the things that you want to attract more of that positive energy, do things that are going to enhance your strength and wellness. Uh, e is for exercise, movement, stretching, 
yoga, right? I did that exercise video on no sweat exercise, right? A couple of different options to think about how when you're traveling, do you not have to highly exert yourself, but still get in the movement that is so good for your blood flow and your oxygen rate. And then it's also going to improve your sleep and just your patience and calmness. After exercise, we want to look at A for attitude, right? That's the lens that you're looking through, mom. That's how you see the misbehaving. That's how you see the off the schedule situation. Um, what else would you have an attitude about? Have an attitude about, oh, change of plans, right? When we travel, I think, okay, here's the itinerary. Here's what we planned out, or this is what time the park is supposed to open. We'll be there early on time. Oof, okay. Do I have an optimistic attitude? Do I have an attitude of gratitude? I'm grateful that we're here together. I'm grateful that we're having a fun time on this vacation. N is nutrition, right? What is it that I am putting into my body? Now, definitely when we are on vacation, that can get sloppy and we can be eating at all kinds of restaurants every day and not watching portions, not watching how many sweets we're taking in. So that's why I think it's the, the balance of all of these wellness areas that then keeps you feeling strong and healthy. But nutrition, there are wonderful fruits and vegetables when you travel, open marketplaces, um, going to a new restaurant or a new cuisine that you've never tried before, um, being at the pool and taking in, I love a bowl of fresh fruit in the morning that the resort has. I mean, that's an amazing way to start the day with probably something I wouldn't be cutting up for myself back at home. So adding in your nutrition, keeping up the vitamins that you take when you're at home, keeping them going on your trip. And then I added S, right? Dr. Sears had L-E-A-N, I added the S. It is my spirituality. As a Catholic and Christian, it's so important to me that we're really incorporating and keeping up our spirituality on this vacation. What a beautiful place to be in nature, to have a deeper connection with the kids and my husband, spirituality of praying and being grateful for this opportunity, for all of our blessings. In spirituality, how can I listen to God's word while we're in this place of quiet? And that's journaling and looking at a devotional. And that's what you're gonna hear me talk more about is my project for 2022. I'm writing a book, Wherever You Go, right? That's the name of it, Wherever You Go, right? I am the Lord your God, wherever you go from Joshua. And wherever you go, it's gonna be a seven day devotional journal. It's a book that you're sitting on vacation and really kind of incorporating all of these tools that we talk about in DIY wellness travel, but then putting them into place and really placing them into your heart, right? A refreshed heart by the end of your trip and taking that home with you. When I talk about wellness travel and I talk about those five areas, it can be hard to imagine or it sounds maybe daunting or like one more thing to do or as I talk to moms, they're like, I don't know, I just, I got the kids by the pool and I just wanted to sit. And that is important. But what if with some planning, you are able to anticipate when you get that quiet moment, what are you gonna do with it that you maximize the way that you're going to feel afterwards? I know even back at the house, if the kids are, are down for bed, Am I jumping on my phone? Am I doing something that like that didn't really energize me at all? Or gosh, that made me more crabby or that put more things into my anxiety and into my mind. So I want us to be purposeful. I want us to be mindful about what you're doing while you're traveling that incorporates these areas. So it really comes down to four steps, right? You're planning this vacation and how you're going to focus on health and wellness, you are packing that way. Do you need your walking shoes? Do you need your devotional journal? Are you bringing a word search book? Packing those items in, and I did the whole video on top things to pack for DIY wellness travel. Then I want you to coordinate. Are there things locally in that town that 
you needed to sign up for that yoga class or you needed to ask about what time the excursions are to go sightseeing. And then the fourth step, just enjoy. You've, you've planned ahead, you've packed all the things you need, you've coordinated it locally, and then now you can enjoy putting in that wellness where it doesn't feel like a burden, it doesn't feel like extra on your trip. In the videos that I'm putting together, you're hearing me give examples of nature walks, right? That's a way of adding wellness into your vacation. Um, devotional journal, sitting and writing and thinking about scripture as well as where you are right now in your life as to where you want to be in your life. Um, I'm going to be doing a video coming up uh, about some top journaling uh, topics that you can really get a little deeper uh, while you're sitting poolside. Topics to go over with your kids. How do you connect with them right where they are, right at these ages and just gratitude for who they are right now. Um, topics about what are conversations while you're on this trip, maybe in the pursuit of travel, um, you're in the car, you're on the airplane, you're sitting in the airport for you and your husband to just chat. Um, looking at the ways that you are incorporating those five areas of wellness right into this vacation. That's what do-it-yourself wellness is about. Wellness travel, if you Google wellness travel, you're, you're going to find a spa in Bali, you know, and you think, oh my gosh, yes, that looks amazing. And someday that might be on my bucket list. But that's not how we travel right now. That's not the season that we're living in. So that's why I came up with this term, do it yourself, right? DIY. If I was DIY construction of my bathroom, if I was doing DIY of repainting a mirror that I have, uh, those projects are all things, okay, how can I break this down and do it myself on more of a simplified level, but getting those same great results. And that's the last part of this video is how is this really going to change your life? How is this going to make an impact? Why? Why should I do this? How am I going to really feel the impact of this? So I started to write down a list of looking at, well, there are a couple of different things that are going to happen, right? When we put wellness, whether it's at home or, or while you're traveling, um, you're really building your strength, body, mind, and soul, right? You hear me say that over and over again in these videos. We are not just changing the health and wellness of our body, putting ourselves back into equilibrium into a place of good sleep, good energy, good concentration, good patience, right? My mind, I'm not racing with looping, with worries. I'm, my soul is just happy and content. If I'm following the L-E-A-N-S, the LEANS model, I'm going to get to a deeper connection with myself, with God, with my husband, with the kids even just in truly experiencing where we're at, where we are at, right? If I look at some of those vacation books, sometimes I remember some of those parts, sometimes I think, oh gosh, that was a kind of a blur of a day. No, I, I want you right where you are to feel and sense and smell and see and experience exactly where you're visiting. You're happier, you're healthier, I wrote down. Um, you're changing your lifestyle. You're seeing how this is doable. I think in, into 2021, that's what happened to me on vacation. We came home and I thought, I can keep doing this. I love the way that this feels. I am motivated to keep this all going. I had peace of mind. I had a joyful heart, refreshed, right? You're gonna hear me talk about those words. You wanna take this whole journey to have a refreshed heart. You are a refreshed mom. Go from stressed to refreshed. Um, you have a new mindset and you definitely have best well-being. As mom, we are the operators of our family and whatever place we are at, that is a lot of pressure but the family picks up on that energy level. If I'm in a crabby, grouchy mood, guess what? They're acting up, there's less cooperation. So 
that is even a greater motivator. I know that God calls me to love my family truly and deeply, and that comes out in a lot of forms. But one of the ways that I'm doing that is when I give myself that self-care and that self-love, and I'm centered in what God calls me to, that's gonna pour out to them. That's gonna share how I can bounce back from a crabby morning and teach them how to do that same exact thing in their life. These are tools for now and tools for the future, right? And that's so much of what we do in motherhood. I'm teaching you something now. I'm planting seeds now because this is where you're gonna be in the future. So look at all of those amazing ways that this is gonna change your life, change the way that you look at yourself, body, mind, and soul, and feel encouraged, inspired, that you can totally rejuvenate yourself. Thank you so much for being here. I was thinking of comments for down below. I love when you add in questions and comments and what you're hoping for out of your vacation. How would wellness travel really boost your next travel? And where are you going? What are you planning for? Do you have any questions about planning? Maybe other moms in this community can jump in and we can interact with each other. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I welcome you to subscribe, ring that little bell. The more that we have subscribers, the more that YouTube knows to share this video to more and more interested audience. So I thank you for being here. My name is Katherine Gardner, part of the Tranquility Moms team, and today, take care of yourself.